Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another Elementor design related tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can add any extra image or any extra text to any widgets. For example, here I will show you how you can create this kind of shape with any text and also how you can add this kind of shapes with any image and also here I will show you how you can create this kind of watermark text below our title text and finally here I will show you how you can add any extra text with any image. For this tutorial I am gonna use Jetrix plugin. Jetrix plugin is a plugin from Croco blog. So before getting started let's see what's the Croco blog and what's the Jetrix plugin. Croco blog is a advanced set of plugins which works for Elementor and also Gutenberg. If I check the product list from their website, so they have divided their large plugin into some small and different plugins. So we can purchase any specific small item or any specific small plugins for a specific features. Like if we only need the booking system, then in that case we can purchase the jet booking and we need not to add the jet blocks or jet tabs in that case. So our website will not be overloaded. And also if I check their complete pricing. So here they have a complete package including all plugins together. So here is their pricing for one website 130 per year and for unlimited website 265 and they have also their unlimited packages for lifetime. So if you have only one website and if you need some specific packages you can only purchase some specific jet plugins from here or if you work for different clients for a long time so that case you can purchase their unlimited website plan or even you can purchase their lifetime plan. So that will be a great investment that case. For example, if you purchase their lifetime package and if you work for at least 20 client, that case this price will not be so much for you. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to use their Jetrix plugin. So now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. Here I have created a basic page layout. And for this website, I have already installed the Elementor and Jetrix plugin. I will also leave this plugin link in my description so you can also check it from there. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how you can add any extra text or any extra image with any widgets. For example, for this text, if I go here and from the advanced tab, if I scroll down, here is the option Jetrix and here we will find the option satellite. So I'm making it on and now here we will find the type text icon or image. So without text, first I'm going to add a image. So I'm selecting the image and now here we can upload any image. I'm going to upload a shape type image so going here and i'm going to upload this triangle shape first time we may not see the changes so now if i click on other widgets and we can see it's appearing if you know the basic css you also know about the after and before selector so we can add any extra content with any image or with any text using this after or before effect and for the satellite effect, they are using the exact same process. So now I'm going to the Jetrix again. And now I'm going to customize the image position and image size. So first going to style tab from here and here we can select the width and height for this image. Here I'm decreasing the image size. I'm making it to one and height we can make it off. So it will be auto height. So in the similar process, we can include any kind of shape with our title text or we can add any image with any text or any images. Now going to settings again and from here we can set the position by default. This is top left. We can make it to middle and left. Sometimes the changes is not showing. So just click on the other widget and it's showing again. I'm going back going to Jetrix and now from here we can move the position by x axis or y axis so i'm moving it to the right side and now i'm making it to the below of this text so by default here is the z index 2 i'm making it to minus 1 
so now our text is over the shape and here we can move the text so for the text going to advance and from margin we can add some left margin adding left 20 or here we need to add some padding from left so i'm adding 20 pixel yeah looks good so we can add this kind of effect with our title text and we can add the same effect for all title also instead of image we can add any text with our title for example for this text i'm going to add satellite text so going here again going to advance and going to jetrix use satellite on and now the type we can set the text and by default this is lorem ipsum I'm typing a title text for example here I'm typing project and position we can set it to middle and center or top and center so if I click on the another widget sorry not here we can see our text is showing and now I'm going to add some text style so again going here and from here going to style tab and I'm changing the color to gray color and making it to transparent and changing our typography making the font family to poppins and text transform to uppercase font weight to bold and increase the font size making it too large and the Z index going to the settings and here Z index I'm making it to minus one so this title text will work like a watermark here and next I'm going to add some effect with this image so going here again in the similar way going to Jetrix and here we can add extra shape or extra image for example if I make it on and here I'm setting the image and we can add a, another image with this image and here position we can make it to bottom and right and here from the style tab if I make the width and height to auto or can make it to the 400 and height is auto and now we can move the position so from settings making the Z index so I'm making it to the left and from top making it to the top alright so we can add extra images with our about image this way this will look good and also we can add a another effect so we can also add a another color image so that will work as background shape so that case we can change this image again going here for example i'm going to upload this red color or orange color image and now changing the position to bottom left so by default it's showing here and now going to style tab we can change the width to 500 and height to 300 and now if i check so it's moved to the left side we can increase the height to 400 and now i'm moving the position so from z axis i'm making it to the right side or you can decrease the width i'm making it to the 200 yeah you can keep it like that and moving to the left and also from bottom decrease the height making it to 200 or 300 yeah now again moving it to by y axis and finally the Z index we can make it to the minus one so it will show below the image and now if I check the full screen so it will look like this and here we can also decrease the width and we can move the position as we need alright so now I have increased the width a bit and now it's looking good in the similar way we can add any shapes to any position with our image and finally one more step in the very bottom area i have created a custom section here i have taken a one column structure and for background i have added two color as gradient and for the content i have added a transparent car image and now i want to add some text with our image so now if i go to the image widgets and from advanced going to jetrix and here I want to add a text with our car image. 
So in the similar way, going to satellite for text type, I'm typing any text. For example, I'm typing a number and position. We can set it to the middle and right. It's not showing in first step. Now it's showing or we can set it by default to center center. So it will be by default in center. We can set it to middle and center. And now we can move the position by x axis to on the right side and also by offset y. And now going to style tab and changing the color. Here we can set this yellow color. Yeah, looks good. And from typography, we can change the font size. We can make it to the smaller. Yeah, like that. And also, now we can move it to the left all right we are done in the similar way we can add any text effect or any image with any widgets and finally save our page so that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section so i'll make more tutorial like this and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.